biggest draw of an all women's college is leadership positions are available to our students regardless of where they are learning both in and outside of the classroom within the classroom uh, when we see students answering questions i have taught at a co-educational college before i came here the male students would answer and overpower the female students not that their their answers were always compelling but they would still raise their hand and talk but here from day one our first year students are trained to speak up they are trained to find their voice and assert their voice so moving on after Kati, wherever they go, they can make sure that their voice is heard. They are a voice on the table, on every table where decisions are made. From the kitchen table, to boardrooms, to say political offices. I teach political science, so that's what I always talk about. Women's voices are heard, they are prepared. We encourage women to find their voice and assert their voice wherever decisions are being made. So what I love about it is the opportunity to mentor and help young women grow and to find their voice and their, their confidence, who they're going to be in the world. I feel really um, connected to this idea that students here aren't just, in general, going through the actions. They really have some reason and purpose that they're here. I feel that and I feel connected to that when I'm with students on campus. From my observation, students have vast opportunities to identify who they are and to explore interests, skills, um, explore their personality. They are supported and encouraged to think about their place in the world as a whole person not just a student getting walking across the stage with a degree in four years. My personal viewpoint is that this is a great time in their life to start really identifying some kind of foundations as adults and who, who am I and why do I think the way I think and what's my purpose in the world. And I encourage them all the time to find their voice. Cotty students are so interesting. They come from unique backgrounds. They have unique interests. But what I really like is the relational quality in the classroom and out, quite honestly. Uh, Cotty students prefer collaboration over competition. They are very supportive in their language, in the classroom, and out. Even when we're disagreeing, Cotty students, uh, the, the more experienced students, will uh, reach out to the newer students and give them tips and advice for success. The newer students quickly come to realize that they are building relationships that they will take with them when they leave Cotty. Cotty encourages academic excellence in, in so many ways. And you know, I think it looks slightly different for different kinds of students. But I think the most important thing we do, and when I say we, I mean the entire faculty and the staff here at Cotty, is that we just, we know that women are capable of achieving great things. Uh, we don't doubt our students' abilities. We don't doubt their ability to persevere. We don't doubt their ability to succeed. And so when that's a given, I think that really frees students to take risks, uh, to challenge themselves. Because if they do stumble or if they do fail, they know that they have a support system that can help them get back on their feet. And so I think by modeling that kind of support, by creating a nurturing atmosphere, we show students every day that they can succeed, that we believe in their success, and that we're to help, here to help them do that. Oh, there's so many things I'd like to say to members of the PEO Sisterhood. You know, I so often think about our college's founder, Virginia Alice Cotty, who was a member of Chapter DW here in Nevada, Missouri. Um, and she devoted her whole life to establishing a school. She knew by the time she was 35 that that was her goal. And the older I get, the more I'm just in awe of her to think of being 35 and starting a school. Um, it's truly amazing. And she devoted her entire life to the mission of, of women's education at a time when women's education was not really even valued. Even when her husband proposed to her, she said, I'll marry you, but the college will always come first. And then I think about the founders of the PEO Sisterhood, those seven young women who are the ages of our students, 
who came together through the bonds of friendship and created an organization focused solely to supporting women, to educating women. And I'm getting goosebumps just talking about this right now because it's such a remarkable story. And to know that for you know over 150 years, hundreds of thousands of women have worked so hard and have worked for free, you know, worked work without recognition, but work because they believe so strongly in the potential of women, and they believe that women's education is so valuable. I mean, it's truly incredible. So to be part of that, that story, to be here at Cotty College, uh, first of all, it's incredibly humbling. Secondly, I think that it, um, I feel a great sense of responsibility to the sisterhood um, because we know that what we're doing is really bearing the fruits of your labor. You work so hard to find students for us. You work so hard to support our students, whether it's financially or emotionally. And you know, we're the lucky ones. We get to work with them every day and see that, that fruit ripen, ripen and develop. So I think the sisterhood is just incredibly inspirational. And you know, sometimes those simple words seem so easy, but they're the most accurate. And I would just say thank you. Um, thank you for all that you do for Cotty College. Thank you for all that you do for our students. I know for a fact that uh, many of our students would not be in college, may not have even considered college without your influence. And to know that you're changing the world every single day, not only does that motivate us, the faculty and staff at Cotty, but it surely motivates our students as well. Um, so thank you for all that you do. Uh, we certainly couldn't do any of this without you. There's an African program that says if you educate a man, you educate an individual, but if you educate a woman, you educate the whole nation. So I would like to say a very big thank you to the PEO um, Sisterhood for investing in women's education and also for supporting us. And with their support, we are able to achieve our dreams and aspirations.